Cone snails, most of them live in tropical regions on coral reefs. Most of them feed on worms, some feed on other snails, and some feed on fishes. And fishes swim, and they're fast. And so how does a slowly moving snail um, catch a fish? No one had any idea what these snails were capable of until the mid-1950s, when Alan Cohn, a young graduate student at Yale University, put one in a tank with a fish. And what he saw blew him away. Wow. <laughs> When we first saw that encounter of the snail and the fish, we knew nothing about cone snail venom at that point. And the uh, fish was obviously caught and convulsing and not doing what it could do. It was unable to escape. Alan spent the next several decades studying these mysterious snails. The conus has teeth that are very enlarged and highly modified, essentially into a hypodermic needle. They have a sharp point on the tip. Behind that, there's a barb. There's a long uh, shaft that is hollow that contains the venom, and they are detachable. Uh, they stealthily sneak up and extend the proboscis. When it touches the soft tissue of the prey, it holds on with a little suction, a little pressure, and then propels the tooth into the prey. The main effect of that venom is to paralyze, and then it is swallowed whole. Alan's lifetime of work pioneered a field of research and led to the discovery that cone snails can mix together hundreds of different venom elements to pack a powerful punch. It is strong enough to kill people. It's been described as a cocktail of chemical components and it is very varied. The, the, the record is 800 different proteins, molecules in that venom. Researchers are mining this pharmaceutical vault, intrigued by how precisely the cone snail's venom can act on their prey's nervous system, disabling them in a seemingly endless combination of ways. Today, cone snail venom is at the forefront of medical research into conditions ranging from cancer pain to epilepsy. Something over 300 patents have been awarded for work on conotoxins. It's a magic well. The more you take out of it, the more there is to take out.